come with us now, if you dare, down a rickety staircase into a dank, dark basement. What awaits the Saturday Night Freak Show? <laughs> Hello, and thanks again for listening to the Saturday Night Freak Show podcast, where a movie review podcast comes your way every Saturday night, whether you're ready for it or not. Are you ready? I'm ready. Are you ready? I feel ready. That's the question. Holly, are you ready? Mm, mm. To be... Michaela, are you ready? I think, I think I'm ready. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Okay. <laughs> awesome. Well, hey, do us a little favor before you uh, start listening to this. You can hop on over to wherever you found us. Give us a like, a star rating, or a review. Hey, if you write us a review, we'll read it on our show later in Igor's mailbag. Indeed. That segment of our show, which we're looking forward to, the, the second best part of the show, right? Stop grading our own show. Okay, all right. <laughs> so who are these internet radio superstars? Sean. Hallie. Michaela. And I'm Colin. And tonight we watched a movie that was chosen by... Colin. Colin, what did you choose for us to watch tonight? Tonight we watched a movie from 1970 called I Drink Your Blood. Ooh. Do they? Which was on a double feature at the time. One of the most famous horror double features of all time. What was the other one? I Eat your skin <laughs> i can only imagine it's more <laughs> disgusting than this movie surprisingly not ah uh, okay no because uh first of all the title completely lies oh there was it uh, sort of lies in this one too that's what i'm saying yeah. it was oh, like i thought time i ate your skin yeah they, well it is about zombies okay so i guess mm. the way that this thing got going there was uh uh this movie was commissioned to be made right by whom uh a producer named jerry gross Accurate, okay. Accurate yeah. Nah. Very good. Um, well, Jerry Gross brought Jerry us. Jerry Gross, Gross Pictures. How you doing? <laughs> well, yeah, what was some it? gross shit for you to watch. What was it called? One of Gross uh, Films called Jerry Gross. Yeah, he was a uh, film producer. Oh, wait. I can hear the gold chains ch- like jingling <laughs> in that voice. Hey, I got he the had ring. like a, I got the chains, I got the money. Big 70s fro. <laughs> um, I think he needs his own corner. I think, uh, <laughs> I think he needs to discuss things. For Jerry Gross? For Jerry Gross. Yeah. I feel like he has a lot of chest hair. Yes. Oh, absolutely. Lots. Lots <laughs> of absolutely. chest hair. A shirt that's buttoned down. In the, yeah. yeah, absolutely. Oh, yeah, yeah. Like He's one of Italian those guys. necklace, yeah. Yeah. Sometimes the chains get caught. I don't know. He drives well, a big Buick. Yeah. Question. A real big Buick. So uh, uh, we've just to see like where you guys are grading, like, uh, can you tell, in the, is this a West Coast movie or an East Coast movie? West Coast. West Coast. It feels like it was shot on the West Coast, but... It was shot on the East Coast. Yeah, yeah. this is a East Coast movie. Yeah, because he, he's in New the, York the as hell. He, he, tell, he mentions one location that's in New York, mm-hmm. or up by New York. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Yeah. These are these, like, regional yeah. uh, movies. Uh, Jerry Gross uh, was a producer. He also brought us movies such as Sweet Sweetback's Badass Song. Oh, nice. Oh, yeah. With Mar- Melvin Van Peebles, Vice Girls Limited. Girls on a chain gang mm. and female animal. Oh, what is I, okay, that? Okay, I need to know about that one. Yeah, female animal. That's very yeah. generic. Oh. But he directed that one. He also directed a movie uh, called Teenage Mother. Have you ever seen the trailer for Teenage Mother? No. I think is we've a, seen it. Is it a Lifetime movie? <laughs> Okay. It I think it's a lecture like it. movie it about des- teen pregnancy. Yeah, this is Teen Mom before Teen Mom. It was described as the grindhouse version of Juno. Okay. Mm. Oh, okay. I have always Sold. seen trailers for this because it's a great trailer where the guy every once in a while, the announcer is like, teenage mother. <laughs> you know, <laughs> she was nine months on the wagon and blah, blah, blah. You know, yeah, yeah it's, it's the film that dares to explain <laughs> what uh, most parents can't. Is the sequel like teenage motherfucker? <laughs> Going to the black exploitation. I think the, the sequel was female animal. Um, so teenage mother. So this is like some great complete, double features back complete in the day. Sidebar. Well, this is what I'm saying. Like uh, I like to consider myself a horror movie historian. Mm-hmm. Like actual history is like yeah, but movie history. <laughs> so this is like how far we've come. So back in the day, the 1940s, right mm. when hucksterism was a big thing, they had movies called hygiene films these are films designed to teach you about sex and to do this these carney barker uh film producers would make these exploitation movies right Mm -hmm. the most famous one was called mom and dad (laughs) 
<laughs> and what they do is they mom would, and dad love each other. They would bring them around <laughs> to the you know, because it's about the birds and the bees, right. right? Which would usually culminate in a very extremely graphic uh, birthing sequence. Oh. Which you were completely not prepared for. <laughs> Fantastic. But the way that they would bring these to your town, because this is like highly, you know, this is a, the moral 40s, right? Yeah. So they'd put them on a circuit and basically bring them around and maybe show them in like the, uh, the, like, uh, the Mason Masonic Hall or something like uh-huh. that, right? They'd rent the place out. But they'd send to the church all these flyers saying that they were from like a letter that was written by a mayor from another town saying like this is just the most immoral thing that I've ever seen and you need to protest this thing coming to your town so they'd stir up all the interest in the movie that way mm. and then they, when they come to town they'd have like a screening for like adults then they'd have like the screening for women only the screening for men only the screening for and you could get like a book uh. You know, on so weird it, mm-hmm. on like a sex or something that was written by the people who made the movie, <laughs> but pretending to be somebody else. I mean, this is like a carnival. This is side show, honestly right? the time. <laughs> Maybe we should bring this back. You know, what? it might be a good idea to bring. I'm like, this you, back. you don't hear don't about know. anything. That's, like this is down and dirty. Like, hey, I got to make a buck, right? Yeah. Living out of the back of my car, mm-hmm. kind of shit. Bravo. Well, teenage mother. In 1967. Was there a song for it? I can hear it. Like, teenage mother. We're going to have to look because there, there be. might be. There, I have the trailer on one of those trailer oh, discs. That's God, why. There better be a theme song for but it. it was one of these that ended with the uh, extremely graphic birthing sequence where people would like, you know, oh my God. Uh, but it starred Arlene Farber, who was Jerry Gross's wife at the time. And she is in, I'm bringing it all back. She is in I Drink Your Blood. She was Sylvia. Oh, she was Sylvia? Yes. The the daughter who the is daughter the woman who gets all this going is the woman their mother no she's kind of hoping that the cast list would be on the back of the DVD it's and it's not I think it's just a case of a small town where everyone knows each other I guess yeah but, but she, she taking care of like Pete? I'm not sure of the relationships okay because we've got there's the daughter mm-hmm. who gets attacked. That's right, Sylvia. but that's Pete's sister. Yes, and then their the vet is their grandfather. And are they related to the woman who I don't owns think so. the bakery? I don't think so. I don't think so either. Mm-mm. No, it doesn't feel like it. I'm not going to get a cast list on this thing, unfortunately. Mm-hmm. Yeah, I don't know what her name is, but she was. Uh, yeah, seems like she came from like a completely different era than the one in which this movie was made. What was her name in the movie? Nope, Bonnie. Claudia, Molly? I'm sorry, we just Millie? watched it. Mildred, Mildred, Mildred. Nash. It's That's Elizabeth, right. Elizabeth Marner Brooks. And what else has she done, Sean? <sighs> she didn't even have a picture on this. Um, <laughs> let's see. Oh, three. She got three credits. Uh, <laughs> I drink your blood. The deadly spawn. Oh, but really? Yep. <laughs> and dogs of hell. Oh, oh I want to see dogs, of, dogs hell. of hell. That sounds cool. Yeah. Yeah. And she's got like, and she has different names for each one. Well, it's the same thing with uh, Arlene Farber. She was like Iris Brooks in the the credits for this movie. Yeah, she never has the same name for her movies. The yeah. three movies she was in. It's all very weird. Everybody's kind of like uh, playing it fast and it, loose. Yeah, it doesn't feel like it's on the up and up. It's just like, I got to change my name so nobody knows I was in this. Yeah. Because somebody probably died on set. It feels like that could have been a legitimate possibility. Mm-hmm. The director and writer, was it David Durston? Yes. Yeah. I think he's only done like three films or something like that. I think I saw one of them. This one? No. Blue Sex Debt yeah. is on here on this set. If you get the grindhouse thing, it's got, you can recreate the I drink your blood, I eat your skin double feature in the privacy of your own home. Have and you? And it also you comes have. with, oh yeah, 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 yeah. Well, that's the thing. I drink your, or I eat your skin is this black and white, like it feels like a Goldfinger, mm. but with zombies. <laughs> in All <hand>. right. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> it's got a James Bondian kind of vibe to it. And they go, you know, to Interesting. Haiti. There's witch doctors. Wow. Cool. I don't hate what you're saying. Yeah, yeah. you're saying the right yeah. combination of words. Yeah, but it's like a. It feels it's a '50s movie mm-hmm. that Weird. they just partnered with. It, they just changed the titles. Weird. This movie was originally called Hydrophobia. That makes sense. Mm-hmm. Not not exactly a compelling title though. Not as no. good as right. I drink your blood. Not at all. Yeah. More accurate. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> but I don't know what I'm getting if I'm going into hydrophobia. I think I know what I'm getting when I go into I drink your blood. Mm-hmm. You know that it's going to be a gory movie. Yeah. I expect some blood. Yeah. Cannibalism. Not, yeah. If not, I, I, that's yeah. going into this. I thought it was going to be about mm-hmm. cannibal hippies. Cannibal goddamn I hippies. Because yeah. we told you it was about 
It was at least a, a grindhouse hippie classic. Yeah. Okay. So why hippies though? Why has this movie got like a bunch of? Because they're the they're, rabid the, they're the other. <laughs> they're well, this, the uh, subculture at the time. That's yeah. why. And this movie came out nineteen seventy one. Nineteen sixty nine is the Manson. Uh, murders, yeah. right? So, Easy targets. Yeah. I mean, but yeah. just can you imagine like they watching were like this? the Nazis of their time? Yeah, mm-hmm. this is like while everybody's thinking about Manson, mm-hmm. this movie comes out. Mm-hmm. Um, it also seems to me that it, it uh, owes a lot to Night of the Living Dead. Yeah, absolutely. Would so. yeah. Which would have been two years before this, if you can actually imagine that. Really? That's pretty cool. Two years before this? Yeah. Wow. So that's like a new movie when this is made. Mm-hmm. Wow. Yeah. Uh, this is the first movie. Well, it was one of the first movies rated X. Oh yeah, for uh, violence for violence and gore. The Motion Picture Association came about in 1968. Well, no, the, the association had been around for a while, mm-hmm. but their actual rating system, 1968, I think. So this is like one of the first movies that actually got like slapped with a an X rating. Made an example out of it. Yeah, mm-hmm. I'll bet it was the pie eating scene. Well, yeah, because put that, anybody over oh the top. Oh my god! <sighs> Why? What was so wrong with the pie eating ah! scene? I mean, if you like to hear chewing noises very loud, <laughs> yeah. that, it's great for you. Yeah. Ugh. No, stop. Oh, oh. Yeah, this movie's made to push some with, buttons uh, with close-ups of mouths chewing and meat and, pie and going into that mouth. Pies, yeah, it was and... just vulgar, <laughs> and it goes on for <laughs> what felt long. like minutes. Yeah, Too it feels long. like it goes on for minutes, and then it like cuts away to something, and then it comes back so they can finish it off mm-hmm. for like yeah. another minute. Yeah, mm. fantastic, disgusting, Ugh. and disgusting. Absolutely, I would rather watch somebody just get a body part chopped off than listen to someone eat yeah that it's gross mm-hmm. uh, it so that does. was the most disturbing thing in the movie that was it's the most there. disturbing thing yeah yeah mm. it's it had the most visceral reaction for me i'll tell you it's, that it just like hits a nerve that you, you know is just so irritating and you can't shake uh, it off you no. know this movie has a catalog of uh gruesome offenses mm. including uh animal uh, yeah, mutilation, animal deaths. Uh, sure, yeah, rat, right off the bat. Rat. Oh yeah, what with the uh, rooster getting its chicken, throat yeah. slit in yep. real time. Yeah, thanks, Colin. Yep. Well, yeah. <laughs> Things you can't unsee. Yep. Holly's shooting daggers at me right now. <laughs> yep. She's like, I'm gonna have dreams tonight about that poor goat being dragged around by its horns. Oh, I'm haunted. Goat. Rats being chased mm-hmm. around. There were no rats actually harmed in the making of the movie. That you know of. That's what they said. Uh, this is well, if what did he if put gonna, on the fire? Well, those were those were supposedly rats that they got from a laboratory that were already okay. dead that sure. they painted to match the other ones. Mm-hmm. And and it turns out that the rats that were used in this movie ended up in Willard the next year because they're trained <laughs> rats. Where do you get trained rats oh, from? Yeah. Well, There's okay. one rat guy rats. in Hollywood. Yeah. 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 Oh yeah. We got, we, have our, we go on with our animal our, uh, documentary. our animal documentary. The famous yeah. rats of because I'm sure one of them went on to be in Ben. Oh, can you imagine Jerry Gross, my Jerry Gross, having a conversation with the animal wrangler? <laughs> <laughs> that could be a segment. Oh, my God. Be great. Well, this movie starts off in the, because, uh, uh, um, you know, if you have, like, Manson-inspired hippies, it's going to come down to witchcraft. It's like of a course. witchcraft Satanism movie. Satanism and witchcraft. Yeah. So we get our uh, in-the-woods uh, satanic ritual at the beginning, which starts off with what I think is one of the great... Uh, opening speeches <laughs> in it's exploitation movie it's history. R- it's right up there with the Warriors. How much? It's right, <laughs> yeah. there. It's right can there. Can you dig it? <laughs> yeah, it's right there. What can you remember about that speech? You remember? I, uh, can I, you do any of it? What uh, What does he say when he's like, because it's very dead serious, and then he's like, and then we're going to take acid because Satan likes to freak out. <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> Let it be known yeah. that yeah. Satan was an acid head. Yes. Yeah. <laughs> now drink from his cup. Yes. And we'll all freak out. Oh, so <laughs> good. I'm just like, whoa, we took a turn. <laughs> that was my favorite part. I like, <laughs> so good. I like where you're going with this. Yeah. This is Horace Bones, the leader of the group, mm. played by the actor... Bascar Chowdhury. Bascar Chowdhury. Yeah. This guy, this guy, mm-hmm. born in India, royalty. Oh. Had royalty. servants like. Oh, shit. Oh, wow. Gave it all up. Come to the United States. America. Form a dance company. Damn. Oh, yeah. So Rich they- people 
be crazy, you know? <laughs> like they wanna... they have all the privilege in the world and they're just like, "Nah, I want to be normal." Right? Or at least I mean, cuz you can't you're like, "But I but dad, I want to dance." No one's ever told them no, so they right. just make stupid choices like this. And but somehow maybe, they end up yeah. in I drink your blood. Mm-hmm. Sure, but I mean, he's following his dream, not just falling in line with the like being rich and everything. Maybe he he set out on his own to make something of his own. I appreciate that. Yeah. I, I doubt he did that without any of the privilege See, and that benefit I don't that he know. had. You that know what I'm I saying? don't know. But rich he is people, leaving. But he is leaving like the country and going to another country. Like, but rich people have the confidence to do that because they've never been told no. Yeah, and they have, have all like the resources to do it. By parents and all that kind of I stuff. Think I don't know. Maybe they, that is a possibility. We don't know. It could go either way. Yeah. I give it to you. Like he could have used somebody's money to start his own dance. If you thing need and, another example, look at the Tesla Cybertruck. That, that's rich people be, not being held to any boundaries or standards and just being told, do whatever you want to do. Mm-hmm. <laughs> that's what happens. It is. We're waiting for Elon Musk to end up in some uh, like he's, sleazy he's, he's B be movie. The, he's he better be one already? No. Oh. oh, I'm surprised he hasn't. He'll have some sort of insane downfall that'll be fascinating to watch. I feel like yeah. he turns into the scarecrow. Oh, like, it, that, it's got to be something like that, right? Yeah, it's just he's going to be some uh, supervillain in a Batman movie. He's yeah, already building tanks. What's what's stopping? Is he doing him? the whole like underground rail thing? Yeah, too? yeah. yeah. To well, go to work. Here's the thing: what's stopping him from turning into a supervillain? He's already nothing. developing flamethrowers. He's just like he's you can buy these. He's so rich; literally nothing could stop him from turning into a supervillain. It's just like as a society, we're banking on the fact that Jeff Bezos of Amazon is not going to turn into a psychopath, That's right? Because if he That's does. True. Who can fucking stop him? Elon Musk could true. get into you that. I've been watching truck. these James Bond movies my yeah, whole right. life. That's how it's it they have their island yeah. with the yep, you yeah. know yeah. the rockets. He hops yep, into that true. driver's seat and all of a sudden you hear <laughs> and it turns into yeah. a fucking armor yep. and he's shooting people in the crowd. Yeah, uh-huh. you, you can sure. only like entertain yourself by helping people for so long before yeah. you're like, what the hell can I do with my money? Nobody's you know? that benevolent <laughs> with that much money. Exactly. Yeah. Yeah. At some point. World domination. Mm-hmm. I mean, if it's it was inevitable. us, we'd do it. It's, it's entertaining that your Alexa heard that whole conversation. She's probably going to report back now, huh? <laughs> She's going to yeah. send that information right to Bezos' desk, huh? Probably. Yeah, there's probably Let's a missile on its way here right now. <laughs> yeah. If we cut out, listener. Well, if we were going to talk about Bashkar, Bashkar? Bashkar. What can you say about the man or his performance in this movie? He's dedicated. It Not professional? Like, well, like no, these people are not what, actors. That's what I mean by dedicated. Yeah. Like, no matter what experience he has, mm-hmm. and what did he have before this? Do we know? I'm going to look it up. Um, what uh, he had he his had? dance company. That's I'm true. Not sure if no he... acting uh, experience? Well, oh, no. tragically, in I... 1977, oh, no. not too long after this movie was released, he would suffered a 20-foot fall off of a stage, oh. broke his spine in four places, and was uh, paralyzed from the waist down for life. Oh, wow. Damn. Yeah. So seven years after, that's what happens when you deal with the forces of darkness. He was cursed because of this movie, right? That's right. That's Maybe. the legend Maybe, yeah, that exists. He killed one too many chickens, and yeah. they're just like, eh, no, mm-hmm. we got to take something away from you for that that's one. That's how it works. Well, and Satan's yeah. like, you're going to make a mockery of me? Fuck you, man. <laughs> it's true. He's this outsized character, I guess. He's like the center around which the, I mean, come on. He's like the most uh, charismatic. You have to be to be the, the leader right? of yeah. that. Yeah. Yeah, be yeah. a cult leader. You got to be charming. Yeah, mm-hmm. these Indeed, are people who just for the kicks. They uh, when their car breaks down, their van that you know all the smelly hippies drive around in. They leave one of their friends who's sleeping in the back of the van and push him off a cliff. Why not? They, they do. Why they the roll fuck down not? Because it's funny. I don't care. <laughs> Wasn't that the same one that they later cut up his feet? Yeah, too? they so have him for this they, guy. He's just not. He's like, he's clearly the like they look at him as the Franklin of the group. They're like, fuck this guy, fuck man. Exactly. You know, that's exactly. their attitude towards this guy. Yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. They're itching for a way to get rid of him. Yeah. Mm-hmm. So there's what eight uh, cult guy. members. Mm-hmm. Yes. Yep. Out doing naked things in the woods. Sure. Mm-hmm. And drinking chicken blood. That is the. Um, the, the pros of being a Satanist, doing just out naked things in the world. I, I think so. that's why people join up. I think so. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Because they're is like, it, this is normal. Is that why? I mean, yeah, yeah I think so. That is the big All appeal right. of the religion. That naked drugs be... in the woods. I'm yeah. pretty sure that's yeah. it. it. Uh-huh. All right. Well, <laughs> wait, wait till next week when we have our Satanist uh, friend on to explain all this to us. Well, the, uh, the, Town girl witnesses this uh, satanic uh, orgy. 
Yes. They chase her down, and we presume that they rape her. I'm not entirely sure. They bust her up something. They bad. do. They beat her up. Does anybody explicitly say rape? Yeah, no. they do. Yeah. Did they? It's mentioned, they do. Right? It's Early mentioned, on, yeah. it's, it's yeah. mentioned. And then they say beat up, but they oh, mentioned that's right. rape before. Yep. It's mentioned okay. a couple times. Dude mm-hmm. from the... Right, okay, so so basically, so she goes back to the uh, the town, which is like a fucking ghost town. There's nobody lives here. Yeah. Right. Well, they but, said population of 40. That's right. True. So. Mostly workers at this... Where are they? What is the, it's a dam. They're like... They're building a dam. Building a dam. Is it a goddamn? Which is good when you're dealing with rabid lunatics... There's because they fear water, water. Right. sure. Uh, that, yes, thinking yeah, this right, ahead. Right, you just right. gotta live on an island. When you'll they be set fine. this up, yeah, it's like the Zack Snyder Dawn of the Dead. Just, just go to an island, you'll be island. okay. Right. Yeah, from the plague Naturally. of rabid freaks. Um, the bakery is run by uh, Mildred. 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 Yep. Right. Yep, yep, yep. She uh, meat, pies. meat pies. Turns to the uh, guy who the foreman of the dam. Her lover. Right. To get the doctor to come in and check on Sylvia and find out like what's mm-hmm. going on with her, but mm-hmm. but Sylvia's little brother, Pete. Well, actually, no. Before we even go there, because Pete's a character unto himself. You're right. Uh, let's go back to the meat pies. Right. Who makes meat pies? You know what? I don't know if this is a hot take or not. Fuck meat pies. Uh, I don't care <laughs> if it's a chicken pot pie, a no. shepherd's pie. Just no. No to um, all of it. I'm not going to eat a meat pie. No. It's not. No. It's a beef, beef pie? Don't know. Swanson's? Don't fucking I, nope. I will Never eat have? Sh- I will eat the shit out you of a chicken my, pot pie. You talk mm. to my yeah. dad. Nope. Chicken pot pie is delicious. My dad will eat a meat pie. I'm not going to eat a meat pie. Especially no. now. It's Rages. true. I don't actually get the beef ones. I get the turkey or the chicken. Chicken pot pie is delicious. Yeah, no, I yeah. want. I want some, no. No. But a meat Fuck pie. a meat pie. It just sounds bad. It's just gross. It's just a I combination of things that's not meant to be. No, I mean it is I'll meant go, to be. I'll no. go eat. A, it's like a turkey dinner in a pie. I'll go eat a mm. meat pocket, which is a hot pocket, like right now. But I will not eat a meat pie. What's so that, that you know, no one sense. is not better than the other. But it's a pastry. I'm not gonna eat a meat pie. Okay. The way the bad. like meat kind of floats around and like the fluid yeah, of the pie, that's disgusting. Yeah, it's disgusting. Ugh. It's like a. No, you get a thick, uh, it's like a, it's basically taking a stew and putting it in a. That's what I'm talking about. The liquid bad. nature of it is disgusting. That's what's thick. gross about it. Stop it's... doing this with the thickness. <laughs> Don't do that. Uh, I shouldn't cut open a pie to have it be liquid inside. That's disgusting. No. I'm what so about sorry. a chicken pie pie? I, this, that's, I, I agree. Oh, that's saying, gross, no, too. No, I'm oh, saying they're oh, all yeah. gross. No, I'm no with Michaela on this No meat pies mm. at all. No. Listener, tell us where you land on meat and pies. Because <laughs> <laughs> we're like divided, a, apparently. Yeah, like yeah. Uh, tomato sauce in a Hot Pocket. But that's... it's a. Tomato sauce. It's not meat. <laughs> no, but it's a liquid. No, but there's, you have but sauce. There's sauce. There. It's but there's usually meat. meat in a Hot Pocket. Yeah. Yeah. There's ham and cheese. I, don't, I honestly I don't, don't really eat well, hot that, pockets well, either. So well, okay, I do. But this is what I'm saying. I'm like, I, we're going I guess for I the, can't it's judge. the viscosity of the liquid. Maybe yeah, because I'm not gonna. Yeah. I'm not gonna bite the end of a hot pocket and then be able to pour it out. Exactly. That's not gonna happen. Exactly. Never gonna happen. Yeah. And that's what I don't I'm okay with. I think you guys are eating the right pies. They don't really do that. <laughs> hot pies are like that. It's they don't gross. really do that though. I imagine they do, and that's all it takes for me to stay away. Wow, we have thoughts. I no, guess so. My husband loves Popeyes. I'm like, you have to eat those when I'm not home. Yeah. I don't even want to smell it. I don't want to see it. Keep it. The Just fuck away like a from bad me. idea. Wow. Peas so this movie look. was yeah, really peas like. Peas and shit. Yeah. I know. Why is there peas inside of it? Yes. Why? Kayla. It's so it's like, like you just uh, went to the so farm gross. exploded into a pie. That's, that's that, disgusting. That is the most disgusting sentence you've ever said. <laughs> So this movie was very difficult for half of the free joy. Sean and I went through something between the chewing and the pies. Yeah, yeah it, was. it was not good. It was a bad idea with the meat pies. It was an even worse idea to hear them eating them. That yeah. seems like that's the only thing that they make at this place. Yeah, that's right? not sustainable, yeah. especially in a town of 40 people. She said, right? she, she said she threw in some cakes. She does make some. We never see these Allegedly. cakes. Allegedly. Yeah. Probably look just like the Allegedly. meat pies. Allegedly. Yeah. Well, they go in. Uh, uh, so, the, the, so basically what we have here. Is uh, the the group is suspected of um, violating Sylvia, yes. right? Uh, but they come to town, go to Mildred's bakery, and uh, for five dollars they rent uh, any abandoned house that they want. Is Mildred the mayor? I think I it's think probably all squatters' rights in yeah, this. Yeah, I think so. town. Five bucks. They're really for the pies. Was it? Oh, I thought yeah. it was like they bought like we need a place to stay. How's five dollars? Well, I think so. that was all. It was all like agreed upon. <laughs> I, I think she's. Bas- I think she's basically like, yeah, five dollars will cover cover the food, but you know, there's nobody here. Just stay wherever you want. Right. Yeah. It's yeah. a lawless land of squatters yeah. and it really is yeah. pie baked meat pie yeah. shops. Yeah. 
So they take up residence at this old... The old hotel. Hotel. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Where they chase rats around and then barbecue them. Sure. Uh, Over a, you know, one of those um, garbage can fires. Yeah. Which you got to have. Classic. That's the only way you can barbecue. Well, I think at some point, because there's two characters named Doc in this movie, which is very uh, kind of uh, uh, disconcerting. There's the doctor from the dam, who's a medical doctor. Mm. And then there's... Doc, Grandpa, the veterinarian, mm. right? And so Sylvia was his granddaughter. So he's like, those kids have to be stopped. So he goes over with a shotgun yep. to meet out frontier justice. Basically. And what happens? Uh, I mean, this happens right after our uh, our friend who got pushed over the cliff in the van. Um, he gets his feet cut up. And a sort of foot sacrifice to Satan. A weird ritual that we don't really know why it's happening yeah, or no. what I the point of it is. It's just that's my thing with this movie. Is most movies when there's some sort of ritual or some sort of sacrifice, we know why it's happening. They yeah, explain like we're we're opening a gate to hell. We're summoning the devil. We're we're doing something that gives us power. Right. There is no explanation in this movie of why they're doing anything. It's like, it's they're just doing. They're I got you covered on this one. Oh, I felt like there should have been a pentagram on the floor that the blood was or something. Yeah. They're doing acid. Uh all the time. <laughs> gotcha. Okay. All Everything right. Yeah. Idea. All right. That's true. <laughs> That's like, fair. This is what we're doing tonight. So yeah, all they do is their nightly thing is the ritual of Sados. This is what you do at night. This mm-hmm. is what the cool kids are doing. Yes. You just kind of uh, you know have a nightly uh, satanic thing, blood mm-hmm. sacrifice. Yeah. Yeah. Also, this is when they uh, give. Uh, uh, a special day to one of the uh, one of the group because he caught the most rats. Mm-hmm. Rolo, oh, yeah. Rolo, yeah. Tonight you can be in charge. Yeah, you can be charged. You can do anything. <laughs> See, you that's get, the you power get the sword of being tonight. a Satan, Satanist. Yeah, you have complete control of the group. That's point. not power. That's like it's your turn to pick a movie. <laughs> that, what that's, that's power, power is that? that is, have you, <laughs> this is power that we're wielding here, Holly. Yeah, is it? It's power. All right. We're just not he, doing look, all the right he incantations. Has the power to make you feel the way you did about movies, and because he made you watch this, that's power. I know. I'm feeling quite rejuvenated right now. <laughs> yeah. I can feel the power coursing through me. So yeah, they've uh, they deal with Grandpa when yeah. he comes over. Oh, yeah, they beat him up. By beating him up and oh, giving yeah. him acid. They give him acid. This is the thing that really turns the tide for these characters in the movie because Pete, young Pete. Young young. gets an idea how he's going to deal with this affront. Is this boy a genius or unstable or somebody's not? He's all the serial killer in training. He does not have a parent watching over him. And has has never had apparently. No, I love this kid. He's a little serial killer in training. You know he he's great because he's always trying to frown. He's got this true big little face, but he's always frowning. His, he's always very determined. His mannerisms and his speech are very much like an 80-year-old man trapped like, in that kid's true. body. It's like very true. You ever hear like Conan O'Brien do his young kid voice? It feels like he's a miniature like <laughs> old Conan O'Brien. It's like, well, my dad. Because Conan does that thing. That's what it feels like. And this, this kid is this kid is something else. He's on a journey <laughs> of his own that yeah. no one, like what is going on in his head? He has like had it with everyone's shit. Constantly. Yeah. He's yeah. just like, I'm over your bullshit. He's, he's like, I'm taking charge of this situation. These evil bastards have like poisoned my grandpa and defiled my sister. I'm going to go and well, he shoot just a happened. dog. Well, it's a rabid coyote or something, right? Yeah. No, no, that was a German shepherd. shepherd. Yeah. Well, I kept hearing the, was that a wolf a coyote or what the fuck? It we always the, it, all, hearing on the soundtrack. It was the dog. Well, the, oh, whoa, whoa, whoa. yeah, yeah. 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 Okay. yeah. It, was the dog. it was the dog. So he goes out and shoots it. Yeah. Doesn't tell anybody he's no. killed this rabid animal. Did he say before like that scene that there was a rabid no. animal or a mad dog on the loose? No, no, no one said anything. This we briefly saw it. Yes. Like when when they were headed back to the house, they cut to a dog running through the woods, and then they cut back to the house. Which yes. I just associated like, okay, there's the dog that was howling a minute ago. Yeah. Mm-hmm. I didn't get the idea that that many was crazy, mm-hmm. but okay. Mm-hmm. Kid yeah. goes out. Old Petey is like, I'm gonna take care of this menace. I like how he's doing it in the, in the very. 
that's how he's taking care of business. Like, mm-hmm. well, I guess I gotta go shoot a dog. It's, it's yeah. slightly, Could it's be a Walt slightly Disney like film. watching a sociopathic Leave It to Beaver. Yeah, just, yeah, just a little bit. Pretty much. Yeah, I was gonna say it does. It well, does kind of have Wally, like he feels like dog. he's out of a yeah. Walt Disney movie. Yeah, he, yeah, right. It's like the Fox and the Hound, except he's going to kill the Hound. That's right. <laughs> Tying it all back around. Did you know that? Walt Disney made Killer hygiene movies. Eight people. Oh, oh yeah, he that did. wouldn't surprise me at all. Did you know that he made one called "The Story of Menstruation" in 1946? It was a little animated. Oh Diddy. Oh god, I kind of want to watch it. <laughs> yeah, there's photos of it. There's a he made Online. a bunch of them. I read a uh, educational I, Walt Disney. Oddly enough, this is I think there's a chapter in um um what's the McDonald's book um or, or I think it was Fast Food Nation. There's a chapter in Fast Food Nation that goes over Walt Disney's whole shtick, and he made a lot of these movies way back in the day. Yeah, and they were shown in classrooms and yeah. stuff like that. Where's and, that uh, on Disney Plus? I know. Do we get that? I know these are lost to time. Oh my god! They keep bringing out these old Mickey Mouse cartoons. No, show me the birthing videos. Yeah. How about the Nazi cartoon? <laughs> no one else gets those. <laughs> Do we have those on Disney Plus? Are no they... one has the balls to say it, Michaela. <laughs> also rescued on yeah somewhere they're out there. Probably I've seen a couple at a comic book convention somewhere. <laughs> it's like the lost Disney cartoons. I'm mm-hmm. sure they exist. Anyway, Petey gets the idea. He's going to take blood from this dog and inject it into the meat pies, feed the meat pies to the satanic hippie gang. Of the preparedness of with which he like gets together his kit and goes through the whole process fucking mini serial killer man like he he's knew, a mini dexter yeah he's yeah. a little he's dexter he has a kill kit that he goes and takes out to get the blood from the dog and yeah he's he, just checking his instruments before he doesn't want to go off with something in the chamber right you got to make sure that that thing i know but like the methodicalness of a what 10 11 year old to do that is he's operating at higher levels and that's disturbing yeah <laughs> right i like the thing that just kids were Made of sterner stuff. Back that, in yeah, 1970. right. They have the ability to do that <laughs> and the wherewithal to realize you could do that. That's right. You may have to stare down a rabid dog at some point because that's what we were saying when we were watching it. It's like the more time goes on from like, I mean, 1970 is the recent past. Mm. Feels like the old West in this movie. These people are out in the middle of nowhere. There's no one else around to lean on, even though the sheriff is eight miles away. Right. Uh, cut off. From the rest of humanity, if you have to deal with something, you got to deal with it yourself. Yeah, right. The bakery is the saloon at this point. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Even has the swinging doors, doesn't it? Something it had like, like that. weird doors. It's got something. Yeah, uh, but this kid, like he says later on, that he wants to be a veterinarian, and that's where I'm very confused. Like as to what he thinks being a veterinarian is versus what it actually is. Like you can't just shoot people's dogs when they come in with. <laughs> well, now if you're a this is where I think the filmmakers are really going for the joke. Because it's like a cut right after that. And he's like, well, what do you say? You're going to make a good uh, you're a doctor someday or something. Baker? A baker. Yeah. You're going to make a good baker someday. And he's like, nope. I'm going to be a veterinarian. <laughs> As I he's feel, tying up right. the pies with the I feel the like they were really going the, for the joke yeah, yeah, at that yeah, yeah, point. Yeah, yeah. They're just like, all right, we know this is funny. Yeah. So he serves these unsuspecting demon worshippers. Goddamn fucking hippies. Rabies pies. Yeah. Which they eat. In Vigorously, a long, yeah, long and disgusting Oof. sequence. Yep, mm-hmm, yes. graphic close-ups and yeah. exaggerated sound effects. Well, and they just like they just kind of huck the pies from the tin into their mouths. They don't yeah. use their hands at all. No they like eat with just their no, face. Some of them were using, no, the, the yeah. one the the lovely Asian woman was using a utensil, and I appreciated that. Yeah, oh yeah, she's Everyone the only else one. Just like shoving yeah. it right in yeah. their face. Soon Lee. Yes. I'm trying to remember who Thanks. all the gang members were. Yeah, she apparently silly. in real life was a stand-up comedian or something. Ben Stiller really? were open for what? her. Like, really? Yeah. That sounds wow. That's amazing. So amazing. Um, but uh, God, it was a different world. Soon Lee. Yeah. Uh, well, there's Rand- or Andy, right? He's yeah. the kind of uh, the square one. I'm just here for the kids. Say? Yeah. Yeah. He's just there, but he's the one who kind of has a romance going on with uh, Sylvia, the mm-hmm. daughter from town. Right. And he kind of isn't really with the gang. He wants yeah. to get away from the I gang. I feel like he was just bored. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Right. Right. There's Rolo, who's probably the second most uh, interesting or memorable. He's my favorite. He's your favorite. Uh, I love Rolo. How come? Because uh, uh, he just, 
<sighs> what to say about Rolo? Um, is this he, the he's, black he, gentleman? Yes. Yeah. Okay. I he's think he's my good. favorite actor out of he's, all that. Well, that's what I'm saying. Well, yeah. he's, easily. He's, easily. Yeah. He can act like he's I've got rabies. Yeah. <laughs> right. And, and he, he can run, unlike other people. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Right. He does. He can run. He does it well, and he does it for such an extended period of time. Mm-hmm. I'm just like, wow, this guy must have been exhausted mm-hmm. after this whole thing was over. He's mm-hmm. also the one who was made uh, satanic, satanic lord for the yes, evening. For right? the evening, yeah. yes. Indeed. So he has his moments. He stabs a dude to death. When he goes crazy, yeah, yeah. with the rabies. Like he goes, he's the one who goes majorly nuts. I think. Yeah, he's the most fearsome of them, I, I think suppose, so. in some ways, too, just because he's like, you don't know what he's going to do. Yeah, he's the most scary. I yeah. Would say. And he has an axe. Yeah. While yeah. he's running around this whole movie, yeah. 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 And he lops off some fucking dead guy's foot with it. Yep. Yeah. Just and then carries the foot around. <laughs> because that's what you do with your frothing thing yeah. from the mouth. Shove it in their ah, face. Yeah. Covered in blood and sweating. Yeah. Unable to swallow. Unable to. Ooh. Is that, they, is that where the foaming comes from? You just I think so. Falls, so just like, yeah. Which is just what shaving cream shoved on their faces. Yeah, that's this? what it looked like. They have an irrational be. fear Ugh. of water. Mm-hmm. Yeah, rabies. Rabies eats away at your brain. You die from it. There's moments in this movie where it plays like it. an educational film. That's what I'm saying. I could you. get a great educational <laughs> film out of this. I want to edit because it's it's all there. It's all there. Holly, what were all the things you said this movie was lecturing about? You were making a list while we were watching it. Was I? Um, it's it was drugs, rabies. Lock um, up your guns. Lock up your guns. Um, they were really only missing abstinence. Right, yeah. It That's felt like it was it. going no, in that direction, uh, too. Because uh, they were, uh, like, maybe sexually transmitted disease. Right, Those kind of work its way in there. That's yeah. how all the workers got yeah. sick. Well, mm. at the point that I started listing things, that hadn't happened yet. Oh, okay. Yeah. okay. But, that, <laughs> but I was going to say, later on, that did come yeah. into play. So yeah. it, it completed the full circle. I guess, and I guess I was joking about are they going to get to abortion? But I guess they kind of did by the end. Yeah, of this. they did. So by the end of the movie, they yeah. did. This movie just covers it all. It's lecturing you about everything. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Well, there because there's a pregnant member of the gang. She apparently is carrying uh, horse child. bones. Yeah, mm-hmm. Satan's child. Sure. But not all of them eat the pies. I guess that's what we. I have was to confused establish. by this. By yeah. who was like infected and who wasn't. Because it seemed like we saw all of them eating. Yeah. But then it was very select. I thought the one guy was the only one that didn't eat the pie. Yeah. She had like. I thought the pregnant lady didn't. She had a bite and she didn't like it. It tastes funny. Yeah. So she apparently didn't eat enough to get sick from it. So maybe she wasn't actually suffering from it, but was convinced that she was going to. Yeah. And then she kills herself and the baby with a tent spike. Yeah. Yeah. To the gut. Yeah, yep. which is not a very sharp object. So no. that's, no, that's rough. It was pretty of, rounded yeah. at the end. Yeah. yeah. It's not a good way to go. It looks yeah. very painful. I mean, there's an explosion of violence, would you say, in this movie? Like, I mean, once we get to the point where it takes a while to get there, mm-hmm. right? Because you got to set this up. You got your, uh, uh, your town folk running around being terrorized by these uh, crazy killers as they're finally flipping out. Yes. Running mm-hmm. around, chasing people down and cutting pieces off of them. What does rabies mean? It means you go insane and then you die. <laughs> was it? <laughs> she's very helpful. I she's like very, it. yeah, she's very just straight, informative, <laughs> like, she's Google in this she movie. She's a very comforting She's voice. Alexa, is yeah. what she is. She goes and she gets the foreman from the damn project, the one who, that uh, she has a, uh, a thing going on with. <laughs> the damn project, not the damn project. Yeah. And uh, they're gonna, so, I th- like, all the guys from there are going to go and like clean up the town. They're going to go flatten them. These dirty hippies. Oh, right. And they go back, but they get waylaid by uh, the other girl from the um, hippie group. Yeah. Whose name I'm not uh, sure of, but she Don't seduces like them. Right. Mm-hmm. Which we know is bad because a, she's going crazy mm-hmm. and doesn't really know what's happening. And B, she has rabies. Which then means they all get rabies. Yep. And like Night of the Living Dead, it's an apocalyptic scenario where there's going to be rabid, crazy kooks chasing rabid people. Rabid construction workers. A construction right? worker gang. There was a lot of machetes. Who, who, uh, yeah, where do, you get, where do you get all those machetes? Hard hats and machetes everywhere. Yeah, yeah. it's like they all got dressed That's... after the orgy and they're just like... Like oh, I, put the heart I, on. I counted like three or four machetes. That's a lot for a construction site, yeah. right? Like, yeah, a you think that that's you? not Jack in the middle hammers. of the fucking jungle? Right. Yeah. yeah. Why didn't they have pickaxes? Right. Right. Yeah, just like hammers and saws Something. and yeah, I was shit a like that. Confused by that. Mm-hmm. Yeah, you gotta hack through a lot of stone pickaxes. Why was one of them not just driving a cement truck? Yeah. 
That comes next, maybe. <laughs> maybe a jackhammer? Jackhammer would be awesome. That's what I was yeah. saying, yeah. yeah. Just running around with a jackhammer. I yeah. mean, imagine what you can do. Sledgehammer? It's used on someone's sledgehammer. Yeah. yeah. Yes. Yeah. Well, we get kind of a catalog of uh, disembowelings and other... Uh, yes, hands getting sought off by... Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. I forgot about yeah, her. Forgot That's her, yeah. uh, Lynn Lowry, right? Who might be... Uh, is she the most famous person to come out of this movie? In certain, in certain circles, being horror circles... We know Lynn Lowry because Lynn Lowry, after this movie, which she was in her first role, she plays a mute in this. Mm. Uh, she went on to star in George Romero's The Crazies, okay. and then she was in David Cronenberg's Shivers. And I think basically with just those three movies, established like her career in a way that like, because she was in Cat People, which we watched in the show. Mm -hmm. She's two, one, one away from the wall at this yeah. point. Mm -hmm. She was the hooker in Cat People. Were you here for Cat People? I was. After that movie, she quit oh, working. Done? Yeah, she was done oh. until. Well, when you hit the the apex of cat people, why would you go any further? Exactly. Well, she was just tired of Hollywood, and she's like, "Ah, oh, fuck it," you know, whatever. But she didn't know that she had starred in a couple of the most uh, influential, or at least reverential, <laughs> horror films of all time, right? By at least two of the great directors of uh, horror films. And so, in the two thousands, when convention circuits and all this kind of DVD reappraisal of old stuff came around, all of a sudden everybody's like Lynn Lowry because she's beautiful, mm -hmm. and they're like, "Whatever happened to her?" Now she has like a hundred and sixteen movie credits in movies that you have never heard of. <laughs> she came back, huh? Oh yeah, she's it, probably now, a convention regular, huh? Yeah, I think so because now it seems like she is doing anything that you ask. Mm -hmm. Like you went, and they're all like these real. I mean, like the you'd have to look some like asylum titles, titles and stuff. Yeah, or uh, sub asylum. Sub, sub like, asylum. Wow. Yeah. yeah. Sure. I mean, why not? I mean, if I was her, like get back into it. Get what you can. Yeah. Do the conventions. Do with like, hey, you want to come do this shitty movie for like, yeah, because yeah, at some point it's just fun being on a movie set. I think that's what it is, right? Because she she's got to be like of retirement age right, right now and like how hard is it you basically right. somebody pays you to fly somewhere you get off a plane yeah you get a hotel for the night you do a couple of lines and then uh get back on the plane she's got nothing to lose in this <laughs> career at this point has she made her way into a rob zombie movie yet he loves to collect people like that was she in one of them I'll look it up. I'm curious. I know. You got to look that up. It seems to me that she was in something you may have seen within the past decade, but I can't remember what it was. Well, I'm sure. Michaela's looking it up. up She's Captain Googling this right now. Um, Lynn Lowry in this movie uh, saws a woman's hand off mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. with a carving As you knife. Do. Yes. While yes. the woman is in the process of fixing her sandwich of ham. with a gigantic ham hock. Mm, ham. Andra ham. Yeah, a nice country ham. I don't see the problem here, Colin. Yeah, I was kind of hungry for that ham. Well, and just as we're clarifying this for the audience at mm -hmm. home, you can leave a country ham just sitting on your countertop. I mean, to an extent, they are right. they are salt cured, so you can leave them for a little bit. And actually, people like hang them in their garages. What? Like, preserve them. Yeah. I'm doing that, this that's wrong. A thing. I should just have you a bunch gotta, of ham. You need to go through like a, a tour of like the South. And yeah. look and go through like go through all their foods and how they do shit. Well, they sure have it's... they pickle their ham, yeah. right? And you get a pickled ham in the south. You can get yeah, I'm that's sure. a thing. That's a thing. Yeah, in a jar, a pickle sure, bologna. I'm sure you could figure out. You just go down there and figure out what is, <laughs> what meat is capable of doing. <laughs> Which should be the name of your next <laughs> can book. You, can you pickle what, it? What meat is capable of doing? Yeah, pickled or loaf. Off. Yeah. Can you the loaf it? Dreams of meat. Can you loaf it? Also a great name it? for a boat. Did we find out? <laughs> uh, so I know Joke was scrolling for like a minute straight and just then got back to 2017. Like the amount of stuff she has coming out in the next three years is already all. The only thing that I recognized within the past 10 years was she had a cameo in the Crazies remake. Uh, oh, okay. that makes sense. Okay. That makes all sense. Because right. she was in the first one. And yeah. then I, I had been scrolling for so long and I was only at 2010 and I said, fuck this. And I gave up. And then you came back <laughs> and they're like, they're talking about ham. I need yeah, to get back in this. I missed a whole <laughs> thing because I just kept scrolling on her IMDb. You are not kidding. 117 credits Damn. is a lot. Get it, So good girl. for Lynn Lowry. Yeah, I mean, yeah that's the go for it. So that's why I kind of love horror fandom in a way. It's like, what we'll other never let genre? You go. Yeah. Right, you are always part of this community mm -hmm. because you, you do, did this. You are forever a part of this. You don't have that with no. any other fucking Nothing. genre. Well, maybe porno films. Well, sure, know, but but they are but, of 
<laughs> and ilk. Yeah. Hey, there's a lot of crossover between those two. True. Too, so that's very true. Which mm-hmm. always gets kind of like gross when that happens at your conventions. It's like I don't know. I don't really want porno. It just people, brings out I'm a weird sorry, crowd. Porno people, yeah, it's, yeah, it's, it's not because of the guests. It's because of the fans it brings out. It's just I feel the same it, way it when I see a Juggalo that. band at my horror cons. I'm like, oh great, you know, like you're gonna bring out all the Juggalo crowd now. So yeah, you know, there's the, some nice Juggalos. Let's not judge everybody too hard. But yes, I get what you're saying. Yeah, we're saying it's okay. Says the person who's never been to a convention where there was a large juggalo presence. That's very true. Yeah. Uh, I've never been to a large, I've never been in the vicinity of a large group of juggalos. Yeah. No. You are correct. Neither never have I. been. Neither, Neither have I. I. Yeah. <laughs> never have been. No. You are right. Whoop, whoop. I can't, yeah. uh, can't right. deny that one. Uh, so mayhem ensues. People are getting murdered. There is a poor man who runs a snake farm. Yeah. Who has a prize. Why a snake Get farm this. is necessary. Don't really know. Assume yeah. it's like belts and shoes and snake farm stuff. It's like a snake cage. This, uh, There's, there's a only one snake. They can afford one snake. Mm-hmm. The snake farm. Big. They call them farms, but this is where you can come. Like, look at the snake. Pet the snake. I have fifty different snakes for you to look at. Take a tour. That's a snake farm. Well, we know it's a snake farm because there's a sign. Yeah. I guess that's all. That's how we know. Yeah, uh, they needed to show us that it was important to show us that it was right. A snake there couldn't farm. just be a snake there because we'd yeah. question that. We have to have a snake sign. in a cage outdoors no. because I assume it's somebody on the show had a snake or they found some guy because mm-hmm. that could have been the real guy who like owned that snake. Oh yeah, no one guy, in this movie are actors, so it's yeah. yeah. Well, this, this is a regional filmmaking. Right. That's why yes. I love this stuff. It's like you're going to get like a super specific, very personal movie yep. which can only have been created. Under those circumstances Mm -hmm. and can never be replicated. Mm -hmm. Nope. Um, But this guy comes out because Horace is fucking around with his snake. I think Horace sees the snake as basically the devil. I think so. I think he's found God at that point. Yeah, because I think you get to see the snake eyes in his eyes. It's the serpent in the garden, right? Yeah. 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 He's He's like, I'm communing with this beast because Horace has gone crazy. And Duder comes out in his, his... uh, his onesie, his farmer yeah. onesie with the flap in the back. As you do. Right, yeah. What else are you going to sleep What in, the hell are you yeah. doing with my snake? I mean, it's fantastic. This guy. <laughs> and what happens? There's a wrestling match. Between him and Horace? Yeah. Mm-hmm. Yeah. In which case, the snake wraps around both of them, starts it's, biting them both. That is not what happens. Oh, okay. Then Horace He's like, like, put takes that the guy snake down. down. And Horace is like, okay. <laughs> But then Horace like jumps on the guy and rips a chunk out of his neck. Uh, I think he just strangled him. Yeah, that's it. He just, just kind of cut he away. Just, he just kind of went. I think the biggest over. moment in that scene was when the dude's uh, dentures came flying <laughs> out of his about mouth. That. His dentures. Did I come feel out. like that wasn't meant to happen, and it just did. And they were like, yeah. "Well, fuck it." <laughs> well, I'm glad they, they kept really it. popped out. They like, did. They he really kind of flew out. You Beetlejuice know, juice there. Yeah. yeah, things you don't see in other <laughs> movies. We need to have more accidental denture throwing. I like, yeah, I like this denture seems, chucking. Seems real, just like bleh. yeah. <laughs> I hope I never have to have dentures. It seems so gross. Are well, you just gonna go with the implants? Well, this, yeah, I'd rather get, get fucking well, yeah they, veneers. Than they cost a lot of money. Dentures. You get the dentures; they're cheaper. <sighs> Wooden ones, even cheaper. Like the idea of just like pulling that shit out of your mouth every day and putting it in a glass of water is so fucking gross. You can't night, sleep honey. with them in, right? Give me a kiss. <laughs> so I just think it'd be weird that... No, okay, we can't go down this. <laughs> I'm sure some of our listeners have dentures. Write into us if you do. So... <laughs> yeah, let us know of your experiences. The uh, movie, the big climax is basically like what happens to each one of these uh, rabid people. What happened to Lynn Lowry after she cuts the hand off and starts running around That's with it. that poor woman? That's hand. always... She just she's gone. Yeah, she's the one we're going to find years later, and she's just wandering around, still crazy. They should have had that at the end. She's still out there. Just wandering through the woods with the hand. You yeah. Know who she was. Yeah, that would have been good. I mean, eventually, which becomes like the greatest, uh, goofiest thing about this movie, the only problem with it, right, or the, the whole scenario is when you... Make a movie based on the idea that your villains are afraid of water. Mm. Uh, there becomes a lot of scenes where people are in water, kind of splashing water up <laughs> people yep. or hitting them with a hose. In yep. fact, Rolo, our hero psychopath. I think he di- doesn't he die getting sprayed with a hose? I think he died of a heart attack. Probably. Probably. Because he's so afraid of water and she fucking drenched him with that fucking hose. He died right on the he hood of done. her goddamn car. Dead. He was going for a long time, though. Yeah. Like, it was his time. Well, he also got to face off against uh, Horace. He did, and he won. Yeah. 
I was not expecting that. I was hoping for it. He not put expecting it. There's Horace's a, yeah. sword like right through his back and out his fucking mouth. Yep. Mm-hmm. That was a good fight. That was a good fight. That's why I said it. This is the main event. I like it. Yeah. There's a lot of dancing and slapping I mean, before was, anything was, really it was happened. Very, uh, it was very cable guy. <laughs> yeah. Dun, 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 dun. Yeah. yeah, it was very much all of that. It took a while for the sword to come right. into play. Yeah. It has that awesome music. Where it's like, doom, 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 the, doom, oh, doom, can we say doom, something doom, about the music doom, of this doom, movie? Doom, doom, doom. I liked it. There was parts it was very annoying. Yes. There was like yes. the the, the theremin that was just the, being held oh for three God. minutes. That one hated that. Yeah. Didn't like that. Yeah. Other times there's just a lot of like the chase weird, music like, was good. Wah, 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 yeah. Wah, wah, wah. yeah. So I, I a lot of it was just like we're just gonna go fucking be intense. <laughs> Hit this piano. <laughs> It was either piano or theremin, like, yeah. as much as we can touch a theremin right. and annoy the yeah. shit out of it. Yeah. yeah. One of them sound like, it sounded like uh, the electronic equivalent of, like, uh, I don't know, like a, a jar of angry That's wasp. the one that annoys <laughs> me. Yeah. And only they just kept yes. dialing it when slowly. That's when the two <laughs> workers are walking up the stairs and, oh, yeah. and they get hung. I'm just like, all right, I get it. I'm done. <laughs> and that was the one I'm just like, yeah, I don't need this anymore. Yeah, too Only much. Let's lower and yeah. yeah, too much, too long. We could have skipped that one. Everything else I was fine with. I liked it. It's very, very creepy. Uh, it's very creepy, uh, weird. Psychedelic. Yeah, Is that what you're going for? Yeah, man. I got that off of your bat that's dance all, that's uh, all, yeah. shit. That's amazing. Psychedelic. It the mix makes it very loud all the time, though. It is true. It, it is. They really be, are trying to hit you. Yeah. With it. Yeah. Mm-hmm. That's cool. That's cool, babe. No, but that's the problem it's, I had with the chewing cool, scene. Is like once again, like the mix is just loud yeah. for everything. Yeah. This chewing yeah. scene has really it's, caused it's, some it's psychological damage. Because I thought damage. it was just going to be a second, and then it just kept going. Like because they knew. Yeah. They're like, ooh, that sounds disgusting. Let's add five. More like I've this. seen movies where they do a smash cut to someone chewing really grossly, right? And then they pan out, and then it's over. So that's like what I was expecting, and then right. it just kept cutting between all of them for this minutes. Is also- yeah, but this is also that scene where they're just like, look how much they're eating the rabies. <laughs> yeah, yeah, because you know there's blood in there, and yeah. you can see it's in the liquid and that's it is, it is, around it is with the meat specifically the uh, created to make you squirm yeah. in one way or another. Because you know they're eating rabies. Yeah, fuck yeah, it did. Because <laughs> uh, you know they're eating rabies. Yeah. Just eating rabies. Well, the end of the movie when the rabid people, oh, I was surprised at uh, Andy, hero Andy, right? Oh, yeah. The sub- quote unquote like decent cult member uh, yeah. who's running away with uh you know our heroes or mm-hmm. you know, which Sylvia is basically yeah, Sylvia, her little brother Pete, what's her name? Mildred. 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 And uh Duder from the, the foreman. I never remembered his name. Yep. Dan. Let's call him Dan. He looks like a Dan. He looks like a Dan. Uh they're trying to avoid the uh yeah, he gets his fucking head head hacked off. He does with one of those giant machetes that the workers are running around with. One of the fifty machetes they found. Yeah. Movie just devolves into chaos and madness. <laughs> Has there it. ever been a movie where there's just like a lot of the ancillary characters work in a machete building factory? <laughs> Has that ever happened? <laughs> Which would explain where they all are you come taking from. Notes? <laughs> we should there be making yeah. Just the Acme Machete Factory. That's what it should be. <laughs> that would be great. Because the Equalizer, he works at a Home Depot. Who does he? Yep. There you mm-hmm. go. He has access to all that shit. All that. Mm-hmm. You need a nail gun, machete, hammer. Got mm-hmm. it all. Um, <laughs> you just named like four <laughs> black action stars from the 1970s. Machete, hammer, <laughs> nail gun. <laughs> nail gun's the one who's, we, we yeah. still got to make the nail gun movie? We still got to make the nail gun movie. Oh, yeah. that's great. Um, but yeah, so, uh, they do end up figuring out a way to, I love also, right. Just the, uh, the forthrightness, is that it? The, the, the ability to come up with a decision that you're going to live with for the rest of your life on the, the flat, yeah. uh, you know, mm-hmm. and the snap of a hat, because you know, it's the right thing to do. There's the, uh, the foreman and the doctor are coming back yep. and they're like, whoa, 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 stop. Hold on. And out from the hut or whatever, the, the the mess hall or whatever, comes a rabid construction worker. And without even thinking about it, they're like, give me the shotgun. Shoot him. Well, the cops the guy away. Like, what the yeah, Oh, that's true. Just like, he can't be helped. Yeah, he can't What's be helped. What's there a cure for <laughs> Well, no, there's no cure in for their anything. defense, there's a guy foaming at the mouth, running at them, with wielding a machete. Right. I'm probably going to shoot him, too. killing another person. I'm, I'm just saying, I, I stand by their decision. Yeah, I'm okay with it. No. So then... The, the the our heroes do get into some kind of trouble because they get in a car that's uh, flipped over uh, by the rabid yes. lunatics, and then the cops do show up mm-hmm. and uh, immediately start firing. Unleash holy hell on them! They 
pump them full of lead. They, mm-hmm. uh, they, yeah, they mow yep. them down. Yep. Dead. All off screen. Yes. So we don't see, we only see the after effects of the mm-hmm. carnage. Yeah, squibs mm-hmm. cost money. That's right. And that's probably exactly it. Squibs cost money. Yep. And we can't afford can't to do, do all it. that. We can set you down and bloody you up. We got plenty of that. Even though there's blood all over the place. Yeah. None of this got on to our heroes. No, they were in the car. They were safe. Except in the alternate ending to this movie. What? In which case, yes, Mildred did get bit. We watched it happen. Okay. Does something come of that? In the alternate Ooh, ending. Ooh, what yes. happens? Because she does get bit on the arm. I think somebody's visiting her in bed, like in her room, in her bedroom, and she's ill, and then she can, or whatever, does oh, like a, yeah. That's a better ending. Out. And then you see Petey walking away into the field with a shotgun. That's a better ending than what we got here. He might have shot her. For all I know, I can't Maybe. remember. Instead, what do we get in this ending? Well, sometimes it happens. Credits. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. That's it. At least they're out of their misery. Yeah, that's yeah. it. Well, the end. Don't they say dead. like hydrophobia is like a horrible death or something like that? Right. Yeah. Yeah, 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 yeah. It's yeah. out yeah. of the misery. Hydrophobia is a horrible death. Cut to credits. credits. Yeah. yeah. This is why you, you do can it. get that message. You can get that fucking medical film out of this, which I want to I'm make. waiting for you to make this. I could. Talking I'm not about, saying I will. I'm, I could. Well, talking about cutting this movie. So this movie was rated X. Yeah. Uh, the producers appealed to the MPAA. MPAA said, well, okay, you can rate it R officially if you remove certain scenes to lessen the impact of it. The movie was already playing part of its tour around the country at this point. So they basically said to individual projectionists, just take Do out what whatever will? is offensive oh in your gosh. community. So, so everyone saw a different cut, huh? Apparently there are hundreds That's of oh my amazing God. of I Drink Your Blood floating That's around That's amazing. There. Now that you said that Sean's eyes are going to pop out of his head and he's going to try and track uh, no, down every just, single no, one. I'm just going to say right now, I have to walk away from I Drink Your Blood. I, just, I can't. I can't think about it. it's, it's, it's too much. It's too many. It's, yeah, too I'm much. abandoning We're it We're not right going to hear from you for months. You're just going to be locked in your house. you be like, I saw them all. Wow. No, I, I'm just going to walk away from that right now and be like, that's great that there's 50 million cuts out there. I'm really proud of you. I feel like that's growth. Yeah, yeah. That's, yeah. that's what I'm trying this to do. It takes a lot to admit yeah. that. So. First step to healing. Right. I'm trying to realize there are certain mountains I cannot climb. Yeah. This is one of them. <laughs> so I'll skip that. I'm really proud of you right now. Yeah. And you know what? You're probably a better person for it. I think, you know? I think so. I can I feel so, it yeah. growing. I don't know. If you can just <laughs> kind of that's apply it to. Okay. Uh, but yeah, apparently we watched. An uncensored director's cut off of uh, like a print that they found somewhere yes. and put it together. So that is uh, I Drink Your Blood. Yeah, it is. Now what you really want to hear is whether or not we would recommend that you watch it. And to do that, we're going to have to go around the room and find out uh, individually what we thought of it. But before that, ladies and germs, we're going to answer some of your mail. And to do that, we're going to need to bring in our mailman. His name is Igor. Bring us the mail. Masters, masters, the mail. I've got the mail. So many letters. Our followers are rising, rising. Why, thank you, Igor. Thank you, sir. All right. We he, he's, he's always got that white stuff around his mouth, though, but he's never really too crazy. You're right, Igor? <laughs> he always looks he like is. a rabid. Uh, yeah, but he's too slow. He's got various fluids coming out of his body yeah, all the time. True. It's yeah. he, it's he's better fine. to not question I'm sure it, he's you come know? up with a good mixture where nothing really takes over. Mm-hmm. So he's, he's he's fine. He's pretty level. All right. Until he's, he's, he's not. Gonna, yeah. We, we never know when that's going to happen. Until he kills us. How can people get a hold of us on Facebook? Facebook.com slash Saturday Freak Show. Or on Twitter. At Sat Freak Show. Or by email. Saturday Night Freak Show Yahoo.com. Or on Instagram at Saturday Night Freak Show. John and Lisa Branch wrote in and said, okay, I found you guys while I was looking for cult classic and grade B slash Z film reviews. There you go. And I was hoping you would consider discussing the following movies, The Incredible Melting Man, Escape from New York, Extreme Prejudice, and Sharky's Machine. Ah. But for now, I've got a ton of your past episodes to entertain me as I might build my old monster model kits. Laugh out loud. Nice. like that. Probably the Aurora ones. Nice. I don't know. Yeah. Nice. Um, i tell you machine. what, that's right. Burt Reynolds <laughs> could be coming back to the freak show. Oh, Who maybe knows? we should have watched instead of Malone. <laughs> yeah. You guys yeah. watched? Yeah. Well, Malone we don't know. We bad. haven't seen Malone's Sharky's bad. Machine. Yeah. Is it better or worse? We don't know. But don't know. tell you what, listener, this is what you need to do. Actually, we're past that point now. 
I'm sorry, you missed out. No, I'm, I'm kidding. We actually put your uh, movies on a list. Uh, we're in January. We're going to do a listener's choice month where we are going to watch four movies chosen by you. Yes, <laughs> you you have the power for a month. Yeah, this is You're, it. it's like it's like we're part of a Satanistic circle. Yeah, you've got the sword. And you've won <laughs> you've the got the sword. To this have is the you. power for the night. one yeah. month. So yeah. if you feel a need to get revenge on us for something, this there is you your go. opportunity. Yeah. Well, how can they go ahead and do that? You can send us your. Oh no, they're no, voting now. Past that. Okay, if you go to fa- our Facebook page, we'll have a poll up where you can vote for the final four that yes. will be chosen. Four movies. We are not picking them. You are picking you are them. Picking them. So. That's right. Top four vote getters. We're yes. doing them. Doesn't matter what they are. Nope. Nope. Last year there was some stuff that were like, "This is probably too good for the freak show," but we watched it anyways, and we had a good time. There we go. We're going to put them all on there. So everything that's been submitted to us for the past uh, couple weeks. Yeah, we we can't say no to anything. So. Yeah. Well, we're gonna we're gonna leave voting open until uh, December twentieth. Hold on, let me let me check. Make December sure that's 20th. the right date. <laughs> it can't be a movie we've already watched, so you can't just uh, game the system and put Mean Guns back up there. I, I've seen watch. some. I think I've seen some stuff that we that was done with a previous iteration of the Freak Show. Yeah. I think they're trying to find a loophole. I, I being think like so. It's not I think, we're, specific I think people. we're all trying to expand that loophole. <laughs> yes, the twentieth. Yeah, the twentieth. Okay, 20th. okay yep. so voting ends on the twentieth. We're going to pick uh, the those four top four vote getters. Mm-hmm. Don't know what order we'll watch them in, but maybe if they just tie, probably who knows? Well, last year we did what four, three, two, one. I think right? so. Yeah, I think so. I think yeah. so. So I think I assume that's probably how yeah. we'll do probably. it again. This it sounds like this end with the most voted. Last yeah. year was a fucking roller coaster. My God, it what did was we do last year? detention. It was <laughs> oh, we did do <laughs> detention, but then we also did Train to Busan. Yeah, right. Yeah. Well, sure. you weren't here for detention, so no, okay, you don't understand Jesus. the lows. Of I think the low. I was the only one. I liked I detention. Didn't I? About the tension. I, I, don't like th- I don't think you recommended mildly, it. I like. I think fondly of it now, but yeah, I'm not oh, sure if it is. We had a rough time It was a fucking chore getting through that movie. Yeah. yeah. No. No. Well, detention was the low. Train to Busan was the high. Yeah. yeah. And I honestly don't remember what the other two were. I remember <laughs> Magic was one of them. Oh, that's right. The, Magic was good. It feels Magic like was good. Terror Track to Rock and Roll Nightmare. No. That was the year no, that was the year before. Okay. Yeah. Magic was good though. That was a good one. Yeah, I don't remember the other one. Okay, so about tonight's movie, I Drink Your Blood, Michael Whitaker writes in and says, who doesn't love a good story about murderous hippies? Yeah, who indeed. Mm. Right? <laughs> uh, Sean Roger writes in and says, what are you in for with I Drink Your Blood? Oh, boy. <laughs> <laughs> well said, sir. All right. I mean, that's uh, true. Uh, about last week's movie, which was Don't Open Till Christmas, Simon Carter writes in and says... I had a couple drinks and checked out Don't Open Till Christmas. My feelings on this movie are best summed up by a list of things I was not expecting. Number one, how many times we'd cut back to the actress playing the model because she was happy to be topless. Yeah, it's a lot. Yeah. It was a lot. It was a lot. Uh, Number two, how fairly recently it was still illegal to be gay in the UK. Seriously, isn't that fucked up? Yeah, Yeah. we were confused by that. We were very confused by that. So there you go. He's backing it up as it it was actually a thing. Number three... Some of the bad British accents. Where the fuck did they get this cast? There were some Dick Van Dyke level accents in there. <laughs> there was some bad boy. And number four, Santa having his dick cut off. Yeah. Yeah. That's that should be yeah, like on that. the if that's not in the trailer, that should be in the trailer. Well, he says, all in all, I kind of liked it. I'm looking forward to the episode. As always, guys, hope you all had a great Thanksgiving. Aww, Thank thanks, you, man. sir. Thanks for playing thanks. along, too, especially when it's a difficult movie to find like that. Yeah. So. Although now I, well, yeah, now I have access to an actual copy of the freaking thing. Uh, Plan 9 from Outer Space was the movie we watched the week before that. Stephen Dunn writes in and says, wow, that movie sucks so much. <laughs> <laughs> that is the general consensus, yes. Yeah. Uh, I am the egg, man. Wrote in and said, <laughs> they colorized that piece of Apparently. art. They sure did. Apparently. Yeah. We didn't watch the colorized. No, we, we did didn't. Not. But it does exist. It does. It's on yeah. Prime. You can yeah. watch it on Prime. I think you can I kind of like the black and white. Yeah, I think, it's, yeah. I think it, it's, it yeah. makes everything a little... Uh, it's a charm. Yeah. It's yeah. Charm. More charming yeah. in black and white. It works yeah. better. Yeah. None of you have seen the colorized. No, I, nope. I kind of don't want to. <laughs> yeah. I have. No, I don't want to. And does it change the psychological uh, like uh, effect of? The- it probably just looks more like the '60s. It right? looks more like the '60s. Oh. I like I like the black and white better. Okay. Yeah. Uh, Maya Manson writes in and says, "Plan Nine just makes me feel sad for all involved." <laughs> Understandable. Yeah. But we were asking, what is the worst movie ever made? She says, "Happiness." 
by uh, Todd, Todd Salandas. Yeah. Uh, Salandas? Salandas. Salandas. A uh, movie that I hate with all my heart. I love Welcome to the Dollhouse, whose explicit purpose is to make you feel awful, but happiness. Yeah. I wish I could scrub the residue off my eyeballs. I agree. Yeah. I wish I could forget happiness altogether. Fuck that movie. Somebody mentioned Welcome to the Dollhouse for, mm-hmm. uh, for they, the listener pick. That's on the listener pick. Yeah, yeah. It's it's probably pick. Maya. That's, Maybe it was Maya. Know, it was, Maya, yeah, was it, it you? It was my friend Shannon, actually. I've <laughs> seen that, that many times. I haven't seen it in forever. <laughs> Uh, Grant Parrish writes in and says, you guys asked for what the worst movie was. And oh, no, wait, wait, wait. Yeah. And he says Dragon Wars, also called oh, D boy. Wars, <laughs> a movie so dull and tedious and difficult to follow. The actual Dragon War just kind of happens. I'm not sure if it was a real or a fever dream or maybe an anthropomorphic personal growth. <laughs> well, there you go. He said he wanted to see it with, uh, he would have walked out, but there were people with him. So he couldn't uh, leave it. Oh, that's the yeah, worst. That You're being worst. held hostage by the people you came with. Hey, oh, yo, we gotta go. Yeah. I remember that was in the theaters. Dragon yes, it Wars. Was. Oh, yeah. I remember that. Uh, B movie poster vault writes in. He's telling us uh, Night of the Ghouls, an Ed Wood movie, was filmed in 1961. It was released in 1984. Okay. What? That's why. As, yeah. He says Ed Wood couldn't afford to pay the lab bill. Oh, wow. Gotcha. Well, that's why his credits extend beyond his death. Yeah, yeah. That's why that makes sense. Confused. That's that a, makes sense. That makes good, sense. It's a good title, though. Night yeah. of the, the Ghouls. ghouls. Like the I'm kind of mm-hmm. like tempted to watch it based on the sure. title, you know? Uh, Pat Nowacki writes in says, my favorite thing about the movie is the cop waving his gun around constantly yeah. at his fellow officers, even using the barrel to scratch his head. He says he did it on his own as a joke to see if Edward would notice, but he didn't. So it made it in the movie. Mm-hmm. Holly brought that up last week. Yeah, you, know, you were think- the first to notice that. You're like, yeah. this guy. <laughs> yeah. The only thing I wonder about that is like, that just makes the actor look bad, though. I don't know if that makes the director look bad. That's right. why it almost seems like that's kind of retconning. Like you're not the- doing your character very well. I don't think yeah. he cared. Yeah, there's that as well. I yeah, think, well I don't think he's he- getting a paycheck. And he was never heard from again. Uh-huh. Or was he? I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> and Michael Whitaker writes in and again about Plan 9. He says the Dana Gould podcast hours brought up the subject of Vampira many times. He was a friend to her in the last few years of her life. Apparently, she is partially responsible for Elvira's existence. She was going to bring her show back, and a network was on board. And at the last minute, they hired a new host, which was Elvira, mm. and booted Vampira. And he says Elvira was just an actress who took a gig. <clears throat> is that the way it, it is that how it shook out i don't know i have i mean uh, i don't really know a ton about that to be that, honest yeah. i mean yeah. i honestly i i've heard something along those lines i think it's not far off mm-hmm. um our other movie uh for listener pick last year was super mario brothers oh that, shit. How, there you how could i forget <laughs> that's the one i how blocked could i forget <laughs> yeah colin yeah. you and i had a hard time <laughs> with that one these yes. two not so much but <laughs> so fun yeah it's fun. Sean had a great time watching that. <laughs> yeah. I gave Sean a copy, didn't I? Uh, you did. I st- yeah. yes, yeah. you gave Sean me was your giggling copy. like a child yeah. the whole time we were watching. Because uh, I remembered it so fun. <laughs> oh, it hurt. Yeah, Thank it you. was rough. Thank you, listener, it's whoever bad. picked that one. I'm a little bad. concerned about <laughs> listener Monkeys. picks month. Now I know. I'm remembering what it was last time. I know. Why do we keep doing this to ourselves? Because we love you guys. We like That's to give why. back. That's right. Yeah, yeah. So, speaking of giving back. We're going to tell you all there is to know about uh, whether or not you should watch I Drink Your Blood, starting with John. Thank you. There it is. I was like, I'm going to have to yell myself. What is going on? I am out of it. Get it together. I am so out of it. I'm sorry. Uh, John. There you go. Mm -hmm. Colin hasn't yelled in a while. Uh, uh, I Drink Your Blood. Um, You know what? I had a good time with this movie tonight. Um, There's some elements of it that I don't. Uh, uh, that I outright just don't like. It's mostly the animal stuff, um, the killing of the chicken, the goat, and any of the rat stuff. So I'm not a fan of that. But this is a movie about. I'm gonna focus on Pete here about a genius child <laughs> who infects meat pies to turn hippies into rabid killers. Just think. Of, just think just about listen what to that. You said there. Just listen to that. <laughs> now that is the hook that gets you into this movie. Um, and it, it got me excited for it. Um, uh, I actually did have a good time with this movie. Again, there's some parts that are just like, uh, the the chewing and and whatnot. But I guess that's what a movie like this, a movie called I Drink Your Blood, is supposed to do. Um, if it can't do it with the blood, it certainly does it with the chewing ASMR. Um, but uh, I enjoyed it. I liked it. Um, I think you should see it, uh, especially with that. Like, it's that title. I drink your blood. You've all heard that title. 
you should watch it. Um, I don't think you'll be disappointed. I think there's something in this for everybody. Um, it's it's uh, it's disgusting. It's ridiculous. Um, eh, it's fun. I like it. I, I would recommend I Drink Your Blood. Holly. Um, when you sum up the premise like that, it sounds like it's going to be a real good time. Mm-hmm. Um, however, I did not enjoy anything about this fucking movie. <laughs> no. Not one thing did I enjoy about this movie um, I mean you can you can break it down we can go with production we can go with story we can go with acting we can, whatever you want there wasn't so pick, much as a titter behind me pick it for this yeah, entire just, no, because it was like it was I was like oh this is when the the, the <laughs> Bakshar Bakashar and whatever the other dude yes Bascar. we're about to fight and it was like this is the moment we've been waiting for and Holly goes the end yeah <laughs> <laughs> yep, yep. Um, yeah pick whatever you want I didn't like it um and on um, yeah, it was it was also boring. And there's a snake. And no, I didn't I didn't like any part of it. Can't recommend at all. And and the animal stuff, I yeah, I, can't, I can't do it's that. A bummer. I can't. It's a huge bummer. So no, I did not enjoy any part of I Drink Your Blood. Cannot recommend. Michaela. Uh, I mean, I obviously didn't like the animal stuff either. But I'm also someone that's watched Cannibal Holocaust more than once, so I can't really like. It's not fair to criticize this movie for that when that movie's so much worse, and I choose to watch that movie. <laughs> um. It just had too much happening in between the cool stuff for me. Uh, it took way too long to get started. And like it it really didn't even get that much forward, forward momentum once it started. Um, there was cool stuff. Watching Mini Dexter fuck shit up and like do it so methodically and so well planned out was really interesting. And I kind of want to follow that kid and follow his, his journey in his movie. Um, but the like convoluted setup of how the movie even gets to that point is insane and it's just it's an overwrought concept for a really simple movie and i just i i i don't know i'm on the fence because there was parts i really liked and parts i didn't so i think i'm gonna have to say no i don't think i can recommend it colin well i mean i love this movie i I mean it's it's cheap it's unrelentingly cheap so that's what you have to get going into it but somehow that adds to the like skeevy sensation that you get from watching it mm. and strangely i mean there is like uh, we do see you know there's a chicken gets its throat cut on camera there's a dead goat and several dead rats basically i think that's the extent of the animal stuff but sometimes this doesn't bother me the way that cannibal holocaust is and does <clears throat> where it seemed like it was being done for more of an entertainment purpose i don't know what it is about this where it's like yeah okay it's a chicken I get for, you know, like a you know, satanic ritual or it's whatever. It's much more gratuitous in Cannibal Holocaust, <clears throat> yeah. that's for I sure. So. Way more. It feels more evil. Yeah. <laughs> well, especially because it's like four or five different animals in Cannibal Holocaust. It's way more yeah. than it is this movie. Yeah. Yeah. This movie's like this, honestly, this movie's nothing compared to that. It feels yeah. like there's so much pain in Cannibal yeah. Holocaust yeah. Yeah. for them to go through. This Except one the spider. Fuck like, the spider, man. Yeah. It just feels, this one feels to me like, you know, we've just in 2019 become so separated from you know that that I think like uh, it feels like you know obviously you're dealing with uh, I don't know what I was going to say rural filmmakers or rural lifestyles mm. in uh, the seventies where you know I mean you were like killing the goat for its you know whatever what do you make out of goat milk I mean goat. Goat meat. Well, you don't have to kill a goat. Well, to milk you don't it. make goat yeah, milk. Yeah, out of, you out of goat. Yeah. You do That's know not... that you do know that you don't kill the animal you milk, right? You right, just milk yeah. it. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, but there must have been some. But, I don't they're, know, but they're killing <laughs> things for religious rituals, not for like sustenance. Like, yeah. I mean, I get it. They're still farming. doing it on it's, camera yeah. for yeah. yeah. Um, but for some reason, yeah, like I said, it didn't uh, it didn't disturb me. Um, the uh, I really thought uh, Bashkar. Bascar. I keep saying his name wrong. Bascar. Um, he has this outsized personality where I it's too bad what happened to him. Mm. You know, it's like it seems like this guy should have gone on and been in other movies. Just because he I don't know, he he commands the screen when he's on it. And I think without him, this movie probably wouldn't have been uh as memorable. Mm. So you got him, and then you've got the gore. Which is like, man, this guy's getting poked in the stomach and they like like intestines drop out of them. And uh, I mean, yeah. it's kind of shocking, bloody it looked, violence. It looked like chicken lovers. Yeah, probably. But yeah. still, it's like, OK, the only guy doing that before this, it feels like was like Herschel Gordon Lewis when he was doing mm-hmm. his blood movies. This is like it's like uh, 
There's like the splatter movie. Maybe that's where this is. Is this a splatter film? It's not really like a slasher film. It's a splatter. That's well, more splatter. I mean, yeah. people are literally getting splattered with blood. Yeah, from a swinging they do. Body. The, There's several gets, times that that happens actually. And someone gets shot in the face, and the camera does like a zoom. But then Lucio Fulci, the Italian guy, would eventually go like, "No, no, 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 no! You're cutting way too fast. <laughs> let's and you're zooming in too fast. Let's zoom linger. in slower. Yes, linger. And let's hang on there yes. for a while. But this seems like this is cut from the same cloth. Yeah. Um. So it's one of those kind of movies. Um. Yeah. I don't know. I really enjoyed it. Uh, I enjoyed. It did feel like it. Uh, I, I don't know. I mean, it did feel to me like it had a forward momentum because by the end of it, it did seem, at least in my recollection of it, that like a whole bunch of shit was happening all mm-hmm. at once. It just was frantic and like the music and it was like, oh my God, like this is, you know, any kind of those uh, almost apocalyptic movies where something starts small and the fuse is lit right. and then eventually there's all these people who are now infected and it's like, oh shit, how do you get a hold on this? Well, at least in this movie, they do contain it. And it's yeah. relatively small, but it does kind of have that on a microcosm level, feels like society's falling apart. Yeah, when all the workers got infected, I'm like, well, where do we go from here? Yeah, yeah, yeah. just running through fields. Yeah, well, they infect other people yeah. and eventually the world, yeah. you know? Um, yeah, it's weird. Actually, I thought Lynn Lowry was in Rabbit. The other David Cronenberg oh, right, movie, yeah. she's not. That's Marilyn Chambers, but they, you know, to me, they have a similar look, but... Uh, um well shivers is a that's a that's a movie about like an infection of parasites that oh you gotta see shivers never seen shivers yeah it's like a sex parasite that gets spread throughout a, an apartment complex and they didn't just call it sex parasite here it was real called, missed opportunity they came from within Ooh. everywhere else it was called shivers i get what they're doing with that title yeah they came from um but yeah i don't know i would uh definitely recommend this movie the ultimate Hippie horror movie? Is that true? I have never seen another hippie horror movie, I don't think. Not explicitly hippie. Yeah, because like Werewolves on Wheels feels like a hippie movie, but it's not. <laughs> um, I'm going to say, yeah, you got to check out I Drink Your Blood for the Time of Your Life. Grindhouse classic, stamp approved. Boom. This there font is. is the SpongeBob font. Is it? It is. Yeah. You are yeah, correct. Is. That is every episode at the, title. Uh, yeah. mm-hmm. I got the, the Grindhouse releasing special edition of this movie. That's how much I love it. Uh, so, yeah, check out I Drink Your Blood. Uh, whether or not you watch I Eat Your Skin is uh, up, up to, to you. you. <laughs> yeah. <clears throat> All right. So next week, we're going to watch a movie that's chosen by... Sean, what are we watching next week? Uh, we are going to watch a movie that I think we've been talking about for... A while. It's been mentioned a lot on the show. So we're finally going to do it. We're finally going to watch The Baby. Oh, my God. We're watching The Baby. Stop. That's where I saw it on my Twitter feed today. Somebody else was talking about it. Yeah. It's, yeah, it, yeah, it got it's it's like it's it's coming up. It's it's being mentioned. Yeah. It's I was just gonna like, say I literally just saw something about that the other so, day. I thought yeah, about it. Yeah. Like, yeah, it's in the zeitgeist. It's in the zeitgeist. Yeah. We're watching the baby. The baby. Oh, yeah, it's time. The time is now. Okay. All right. Well, that's next week on the Saturday Night Freak Show. And until then, ladies and germs, go over and get your vote in. Yep. On our Facebook page, it's facebook.com slash Saturday Night Freak Show. Until then, the basement is going dark.